to the combination of rage and having been beaten up. That's next on Hollywood and Crime. They've won five Grammys and earned over $11 million in album sales. Lisa Lopez stands out for her wild behavior on stage and off. Lopez lived in this million-dollar Atlanta mansion with her boyfriend, Andre Ryson, who was then an Atlanta Falcons football star. Attorney Daryl Cohen worked for Lopez. He says that she and Ryson had a stormy relationship. I think that they were just two very different personalities. And they were very strong personalities, both of them vying to be number one. Cohen remembers one incident that shows how inflammable their relationship was. Ryson was allegedly beating Lopez at an Atlanta grocery store when a passerby intervened. Ryson got a gun. And as I understand it, he was pointing the handgun at or toward this man as the man was leaving. And Lisa took Andre's hand and just hit his wrist. The police responded, but no charges were filed. This foreshadowed the events that were to follow. Lopez and Rison's home was the scene of another explosive argument. Former Fulton County fire investigator Kenny Wright tells what happened. She got mad, and she had gone to the bathroom and collected all the stuffed animals that he had given her over a period of time. And she piled all the stuffed animals into the the bathtub, took a match, lit them off, watched them burn there. Lopez extinguished the fire by turning on the water in the tub, but not until the fire had done $40,000 in damage. But when they remodeled, Lisa was wanting to have a special tub. So she requested that they have a red whirlpool tub in the shape of a heart installed in the bathroom. The new tub was made of fiberglass. This small detail would prove crucial in the months to follow. Lopez and Ryson's volatile relationship continued. Neighbors complained to the police about their disruptive behavior. There had been numerous times the police department was called out to their home due to loud music, uh, too loud of parties, too big of crowds, and even the fighting. At approximately 5 o'clock on the morning of June 9th, 1994, Lopez and Ryson had a terrible argument outside their home. She, you know, uh, walks up to him and he makes a few comments to her about a few things and she will haul off and slaps him. And, you know, he doesn't like that. He grabs a hold to her and they continue to argue as they go inside. Once inside, the argument escalated. From an altercation, it became a physical fight, as she would characterize it. I wouldn't. I characterize it as her being beaten by a guy that was bigger than she was. Cohen says Lopez was badly injured in the fight. She had bruises on her fingernails and her hands were torn up. We had photographs that were able to show the press where she was the victim of this. Hmm. Not the aggressor, but the victim. One of Lisa's relatives stopped the fight. Ryson then left and walked to a Falcon teammate's home. She looks out the window and she can see him walking up the road. So she's screaming out the upstairs window at him, you know, you're not going to do this to me again. You know, this is it. I've had it. Lopez gathered all of Ryson's box sneakers and dumped them in the fiberglass tub. And she takes a box of, of wooden kitchen matches and she takes and she lights it off. So you've got tennis shoes, you've got cardboard, and you've got a fiberglass tub, which the only thing you don't have is gasoline, but you might as well because all those three things combined is, is highly flammable. The flames were out of control. The fire damaged the home's plumbing system, so unlike the time before, Lopez couldn't extinguish the fire. Uh, I think her thought was at the time she set the second fire was when I get ready, I'll turn the water on. And there was no water to turn on this time. It, it was just got out of control. By the time the fire department arrived, there was little they could do. We received a call at uh, 6.43 and our units were on the scene probably in five, four to five minutes and we had full involvement of the attic area. Bryson learned that his home had burned down after the fact. Incredibly, the fire trucks passed him when he was walking. One of the comments he made to us in his interview was that you know, he saw the fire trucks go by, but he didn't realize they were going to his house. Lopez went to a local hospital to seek medical attention. When fire investigators went to arrest her, she couldn't be found. The reason Lisa did not turn herself in immediately was due to her lawyer. That would be me. And there was a $250,000 bond that was set on her. We didn't know what her financial ability was to make that bond. While Cohen worked to lower the bail, Lopez hid out in this Atlanta hotel. 
Before her trial, Lopez says she had come to terms with events that had happened. I'm, I'm over it to the point where, you know, I can function and be happy every day and, you know, not let it get to me and bother me. So, I mean, things happen, but, you know, I got to put it behind me and keep on moving and do it. Are you going to plead not guilty of the trial? Um, well, you'll see. <laughs> At her court appearance, Lopez and Ryson appeared together, smiling. The football star told the judge he and Lopez had reconciled. But I can guarantee you uh, that it would never happen again, and uh, it was a great learning experience. Lopez also addressed the court. Nothing was planned. No one, there was never any intention to hurt anyone. Lopez pleaded guilty and was sentenced to five years probation and a $10,000 fine. I was just absolutely ecstatic with the outcome. I hope she was and continues to be. Since the fire, Lopez and Ryson continue an on-again, off-again relationship. I really believe that they both, when it was over with, were sorry for what they had done, but they neither one could control their tempers. Lisa Lopez, Mike Tyson, and Tommy Lee all had violent tempers that landed them in court. One of them spent their jail time in a cell next to another celebrity inmate. Find out who it was next on Hollywood and Crime. When Tommy Lee was arrested, he left the warm side of Pamela Anderson and landed in an L.A. County jail cell next to actor Robert Downey Jr. According to Lee, Downey, in jail for violating his probation on drug possession charges, was just happy to see a familiar face.